Dear colleagues, it's a great pleasure for me to be here as one of top two ranked experts in video voting competition. I want to say thank you for organizing committee for a simultaneous translation of this Congress on Russian and uh, uh, a great thank you for all my colleagues and friends from different cities that supported me. Uh, Kaliningrad, Chelyabinsk, Tver, Novosibirsk, Moscow, and my favorite, St. Petersburg. I am absolutely happy that my university supported me and especially head and chair of our department, Professor Andrei Yeremenka. And from a systematic review and meta-analysis, we know that a various technique can augment predictably in every rich defect, but they are operator sensitive. Some works better in one hand and another in other hands. And I think that the most competitive for every surgeon is covered class four, five, and six defects. The rich reconstruction method should be chosen according to clinical situation, evidence-based, and surgeon's experience. The ideal method needs to be simple, less invasive, involve less risks of complications, and be predictable and achieve stable results in a shortest period. In a daily practice, we all use biomaterials, autogenous bone or the combination. And what grafting material do you use more frequently? Please go to Mentimi and uh, vote for. Please type in menti.com. And um, in the last lecture, we had a little bit of uh, yeah, technical issues, I would say. So please go to menti.com by uh, your smart smartphone and type in the six digit code that you see in the chat that it appears right now. And then you're free to vote. Thank you. Okay. From a systematic review, we know that our block grafts achieve higher bone gain in vertical and horizontal dimension compared to particulated bone material due to high vascularization capacity. And this aspect is especially important in alone combined bony defects reconstruction. Autogenous bone block, why it is so good? Because it has all properties, osteogenic, osteoinductive, and osteoconductive. Inside, bone block is a bone condition medium, which is a liquid with high amount of growth factors and proteins in which bone is embedded and therefore facilitates bone remodeling and formation. Another important aspect is donor and recipient site structure similarity. We provided a histological evaluation of most frequently used harvesting sites and compare them with, iliac, with alveolar ridge. We found it that the closer the recipient site and the donor site are, the higher similarity they has. And the iliac crease uh, has cancellous bone majority that illustrated its differences from other investigated harvesting sites with cortical bone predominance and from alveolar ridge that also be uh, one of possible reason of high iliac crease to grafts resorption rate and the amount of harvested bone from intraoral sites is limited. According to literature data, it is enough to reconstruct a defect three, four teeth and lengths and smaller. In cases of covered class four, five and six defects, after traumatic tooth reconstruction, uh, alveolar atrophy due to long-standing dental defects and after jaw reconstruction with vascularized bone flaps because of tumors and massive traumas. Extraoral harvesting sites are preferable. Among them, most frequently used are iliac crest, calvarium, and lateral body of scapula. Tibia and fibula used less often. Every extra oral harvesting site has its 
a special aspects according to its anatomic characteristics, surgical approach, and risks of complications. For example, after iliac crest harvesting, painful walking can occur, and during calvarium block grafting, dura damages, and in late postoperative period, bone deformities preserving during haircut. On the other hand, the amount of harvesting block is from extra oral sites is enough to perform massive rich reconstruction. The mean amount of scapula graft was counted and it was about 30 to 60 cubic centimeters. That is also enough to perform extensive rich reconstruction. All the presented surgeries performed by the same group of oral and maxillofacial surgeons and restorative practitioner, led by Professor Nikolai Kolakutsky. In this clinical case, bilateral sinus floor elevation and only grafting with lateral body of scapula bone graft performed. Bone block 10 to 2.5 to 1 centimeter was harvested and divided into smaller cortical cancellos and cortical cancellos bone blocks required shape, structure and form and into bone chips. A two-team approach was used simultaneously with grafting stage, left side sinus floor elevation and on lay grafting performed, then right side sinus floor elevation and on lay grafting and anterior region on lay grafting. An important aspect is proper block adaptation to the atrophic reach to avoid free spaces and gaps between them then tight block fixation with titanium screws. All blocks were properly fixed with the minimal possible number of screws for it. And the work with cortical bone blocks is um, more delicate compared to cortical cancellos one because they are uh, more fragile. All the remaining spaces between bone blocks were filled with bone chips and reconstruction covered with a membrane. On mandible, horizontal splitting performed. Two weeks after surgery, sutures were removed and patient's full arm movements was restored. Six months after uh, augmentation, CBCT scan performed and the amount of reconstructed reach was sufficient for implant placement in prosthetically correct position. All blocks fulfill Baron success criteria of grafting and eight implants on maxilla and four on mandible were placed. Then on maxilla, zirconia mild frame prosthesis on locks with possibility of cementation was manufactured and on the lower jaw bar prosthesis. And this case was part of a clinical study which compared lateral body of scapula and iliac crest grafts in 54 patients with uh, extensive rigid defects according to clinical and radiological data. Lateral body of scapula group consists of 25 patients and iliac crest group of 29 patients. Both groups were comparable in age, and one third of all patients had identical spaces. All the patients had covered class 4, 5, and 6 defects. Lateral body of scapula bone block was cortical cancellos with cortical bone majority, and iliac crest block also cortical cancellos with uh, cancellos bone predominance. In all groups, a, uh, a lateral body of scapula located a little bit deeper than iliac crest. That can be one of possible reasons of uh, longer harvesting uh, site time compared to other. In all groups, approximately uh, half of the patients had unsuccessful reach reconstruction before and mean ambulation time 
uh, was uh, uh, <clears throat> a little bit uh, uh, lower in lateral body of scapular group due to quicker uh, extremity function recovery. And the most interesting, complications. Let's talk about them. In general, less complications are observed in a lateral body of scapular group. From a donor's side, five days postoperatively, uh, patients had painless uh, shoulder abduction for at least 110 degrees. And in L iliac crest group, five days postoperatively, three patients had complaints on painful working. And in one case, uh, skin sensory disturbance of the anterior surface from the hip observed. Z was treated with neurologist. But from the recipient side, we had only minor complications, such as such a disruption that were uh, successfully eliminated. And uh, in ILA crest, postoperative scar was seen due to less move skin movements of that area. Rich characteristics were evaluated at baseline and six months after reconstruction, according radiological data, and immediately post-grafting rich uh, widths and heights were measured intraoperatively. Bone gain uh, was calculated and then uh, graft resorption. And from bone physiology, we know that six months after augmentation is one of the uh, key time points to evaluate graft resorption. We found that uh, the percentage of lateral water scapula graft resorption was significantly lower compared to iliac crease graft res resorption and was about 12%. This data is uh, also comparable to other graphs with cortical bone majority resorption rate. And in all cases, no additional grafting performed and dental implants were successfully placed and then implant supported dentures were manufactured. In some cases, during implant placement, uh, bone samples were harvested for histological evaluation and major bone observed. Okay, to sum up, in patients with severe ridge atrophy, both lateral body of scapula and iliac crest grafting approaches are reliable and successful techniques. Lateral body of scapula showed less postoperative morbidity and significantly lower resorption rate during early healing phase. But the surgical approach to iliac crest is easier. Therefore, it's more commonly used. And let's see the results of your voting. Okay, so here we can see the voting, as you can see. I will also help you a little bit here. The majority of the, um, the, the people would use a combination of autogenous ball and xenogenic material, about 60%. Pure autogenous bone only 6%, whereas uh, xenogenic material alone would be 34%. Uh, we also uh, continue our investigation and uh, to minimize resorption, use a combination. Uh, we add uh, biomaterial, in this case, sinus floor elevation and on leg grafting with lateral body of scapula and xenogenic material was performed. And as an osteology research scholar, I want to say a great thank you for my mentor, Professor Mariana Sanz, for his help in preparing this presentation. And a great thank you for all of you for your kind attention. Well, thank you very much, Sophia, for this uh, very interesting presentation, very beautifully done. Um, we just have a question for one brief uh, one brief question we have time for, and that would be, uh, if let's say I'm a patient who's gonna have a, a scapula bone graft, how how soon can I go to the gym and do pull-ups, push-ups and all that? Um, after suture removal, suture removal will be uh, two weeks after surgery. Uh, you can go to the therapeutist and uh, 21 days 
post after surgery you can go to the gym and uh, to swim and do whatever you want all righty thank you so much